you can use wood and thicker woods by the side. This is similar to what I already did before, but the only difference is with this one, you use wood. The other ones, I use Dollar Tree items in making the board. I'll be attaching foam to this, just like I did for the other one. This is a table runner that I got from the Dollar Tree that I'll be using for the second design. This design at the Dollar Tree comes also in a cream color, but I chose this color because I would prefer to see this color in my home. I would have used two to cover up the foam that's at the top, but I'm just gonna keep it halfway since it's not wide enough, and the other table runners will be used to cover up the top. I'll be cutting the other table runners into two so that I can have the both ends to make my design. When I was sure of the length that I wanted, for the remaining table runners, I made them shorter as I made the cuts for the design. The lady who made this request is not into a lot of glitter, but I can't help myself. I have to add something to this. So I'm going to add a little bit of diamond wrap to add to the design and then something else and maybe another thing. But I don't want to make it too much since she said she's not into, you know, the glam and all that. But I just have to add something somewhere. So if you don't really like this idea of the diamond wraps over this, you can skip it. I'm also going to be adding crystal buttons at the end of the diamond wraps. Like I said, I cannot help myself. I just have to add something to this. I also added garland beads. The person who made this request is going to be laughing, I know, because she did say she wanted something simple, but I think these are kind of okay. Command strips can be used to mount this on the window since it's not too heavy, but you can also get hooks from the Dollar Tree or from your local hardware store to mount this on the wall. I tried my best <laughs> to cover up these high ceiling windows. I then came up with a strategy. So I started off first by choosing a color. So I picked a shade of color that was on this nice pillow that I wanted and then go to fabric from Joanne's craft store using that inspiration and I got a satin fabric and I cut six yards of it for one side of the window and then six yards for the other side. This is going to be a DIY of mine to save costs because I was charged a lot of mini just to cover up the windows so I decided to just do it myself. After I was done covering up this part, the sides will be covered with bling wrap. And I'm using the bling wrap because I'm using sheer curtains in the middle of the whole drapery idea and the sheer curtains are white. I would prefer the transition to move from silver to white rather than having it with this color going straight to white. So I think this is going to work perfectly for the design that I have in mind.
I was gonna use gold clips at the top only because I wanted mixing up gold and silver, but I didn't have enough of the gold clips. So after putting the gold clips, I noticed it won't really have a folded effect when it's mounted up. So what I did was to use the other clips that I had that was actually cheaper, that comes in a pack of 14, and it's also gonna give me a folded curtain effect that I want. Here's how it looks when it was mounted up. The color inspiration goes with everything else in the living room, like the chair and the pillows. And let's not forget the side tables that I made that are in gold. They look nice with the drapery. I'm still working on a couple of DIYs for this home and I will definitely keep you guys updated. But just so you guys would know, I was charged $2,500 for this entire window to be covered, including the installation, which was too much, but I spent $385 doing it myself. And I really love the way it looks because no one is gonna know that I used regular basic items to make my window look this pretty. We've come to the end of the video and I want to thank you all so much for watching. Now, if you want other DIY home videos, I have them listed out in a playlist down in the description box below. And for those of you that are new, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.